Well, welcome back, everyone. You may know him for his success, both on and off the field at Gillette Stadium, but now he's venturing into new, a new industry. He needs no introduction, of course. <laughs> yeah. Former Patriots cornerback Ty Law, thank you for being yeah, here. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Appreciate Sitting around it. greatness. I know. <laughs> you know. We were just talking about how did you, I mean, how did you get into this? You know what? I, I started a few years ago with, a, with another company and brand, and, you know, it didn't work out. But I fell in love with the business. So, you know, I said, you know what, I'm going to start my own. And that's exactly what I did. And uh, we came up with what, Corvus Vodka. Well, I'm in the uh, Corvus Vodka. I'm in the liquor industry. I first, people might know me of being in the trampoline parks. And, yeah. you know, I owned launch trampoline yeah. parks and yeah. created and founded that. I was fortunate enough to, uh, you know, sell. Right before COVID, <laughs> you know, and I said, now, right? now I've graduated to the adults. So, you know, I'm here uh, with Corvus Vodka, the official vodka, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm super excited about it. I mean, we're the only grilled pineapple. I got to put that out there right now, everybody. That's my favorite. Grilled pineapple okay, favorite. right here yes. is the only grilled pineapple in the world. Oh so if God. you hear it again, damn it, they second. You They're know what I mean? We, they, they cheating. So that hey, that's the first and only grilled pineapple. Why, why did you want to get into the liquor business? I mean, what was it about I, that you thought was interesting? You, you know what? It was just the marketing aspect of it and when, how free I was to be out there and just interacting with people. And that's just who I am. I'm a people person. The same thing like when I was into the uh, family entertainment. And I realized I was getting a little old because, you know, when I'm bringing out the pizzas or, <laughs> you know, singing happy birthday to the kids, none of the kids knew me, but the adults did. So, oh, yeah. you know what I was to them when you realize when you're old? You played with Tom Brady? That's what everybody used to yeah. tell me, so all the parents knew. So, But I think it was a, like a natural progression because uh, I do enjoy vodka. I'm a vodka drinker outside mm -hmm. of tequila, and uh, I just fell in love with it. So, And I think I have a great product, and I want everybody to uh, enjoy it because it's too much Texas vodka being drinking in New England. <laughs> exactly. I got to do something about that. Yes. So New England, this is what we got to drink. No more Cheetos. We're <laughs> this is what we drink in Corpus, absolutely. And you talked about how this is the official vodka yes. of Pro Football Hall. Of fame. What does that mean to you being a member of right. that Hall of Fame? I mean, it means a lot. I mean, go, so people don't realize that everyone, you know, that played football and played professionally didn't make millions of dollars. So, you know, I want to give back to those that inspired me uh, to play the game. You know, my uncle was Tony Dorsett and just be, I still got to pinch myself being that I'm in the room with these guys, but yeah. to hear their stories and what they had to go through. They had to get jobs in the off season. That is, you don't have to do that now. They they really play for the love of the game, and some of them, unfortunately, have uh, uh, fallen on hard times. And if they have passed on, we help their widows as well. Real quick before we go, you obviously played under Coach Belichick. Yes. This is a whole new world now next year for the yes. team. What are your thoughts real quick on I that? I mean, I'm super excited for uh, Gerard. I mean, you know, it's going to be different, of course, with Coach Belichick being gone and all the success that he's had. But I think it's time for change, and I think Gerard Mayo is the, is, is the guy for the job, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do, especially this coming draft. You know, we have such a pivotal part of this draft being the number three pick. I'm super excited to see what they decide to do. What do you think they should do? Real quick. I mean, no, hey, well, I say, Mar look, Marvin Harrison is the only sure shot thing that's pro ready guy okay. from what I see, but I think you got to make a splash and get a quarterback. So I would like to say we, Michigan we guy. Use, I would say Michigan guy. Hey, I'm going with McCarthy. A I'm a Michigan guy. I'm a little biased, yeah. but I say get JJ McCarthy. Hey, listen, thanks for entertaining thank us you. all those years. <laughs> I appreciate so it. Thank Patriots you. Patriots Nation says thank you and try oh, yeah. vodka. Corvus Vodka, baby. All right. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>